All right, so if uh, we can all get on Zoom, you're watching as much as you can. And uh, we're going to be uh, welcoming a very special guest, which is Stephen Hoffman, who is um, the <laughs> scientific director of the Canadian Institutes for Health Research um, and uh, runs the uh, Global Strategy Lab in the Dadele Institute for Global Health across the street. So one of the reasons that I wanted this location is because right across the street is York's Global Health Program. And so we're doing this really cool um, kind of joint uh, cross-departmental, cross-faculty um, cluster research uh, initiative with uh, Stephen's group and uh, the ANPD folks. Uh, so this is the very, very first event, which is collaboration between arts students and the Global Health Program uh, on in York campus. So pretty cool. So I'm going to hand over to Stephen just to say a few words to, um, to welcome you and to, to uh, talk about his project, uh, which is a huge project about antimicrobial resistance. So I'm handing over to Stephen. Great. So, Alison, can you hear me? You can. You can hear me. Okay, great. So, yeah, so uh, this is so cool. Uh, I guess uh, I haven't, uh, when I when I heard that, uh, Alison, that you were leading this effort, I really wanted to be there. Initially, we thought I could be there in person, can't, but thanks for facilitating this so I can say a quick hello to everyone. Uh, and you're such an inspiring uh, leader, Alison, so great to be part of this. So I'm, so I'm Stephen Hoffman, Allison introduced me. I just wanted to highlight um, the issue that you're gonna be focused on today during this AR game jam is one of the biggest challenges the world faces right now. Uh, antimicrobial resistance, it's a technical name, it's a bit of a mouthful, but it currently kills 1.27 million people per year. That's more people than who die from HIV AIDS or malaria. It's one of those things that is only getting worse and over the next 30 or so years is gonna cost $100 trillion and is going to kill about 10 million people per year by 2050. Why am I saying all this? It's one of, it's a silent pandemic. It's something that's growing. Really what it is, is that it's increasingly the antibiotics, the antivirals, those medicines that we've long depended upon to treat us when we get infected with something, they're increasingly no longer working because the bugs, uh, whether it's bacteria, viruses, or fungi, they're evolving so that they're no longer susceptible to these medicines that used to always work. And so in that respect, this is an issue. It doesn't have a face though. It's something that most people don't understand. Indeed, actually when people, um, when people die of an infection, including a resistance infection, people just know, oh, okay, that person died from pneumonia. They didn't make the connection that actually almost all cases of people who die from pneumonia, they're dying from drug resistant pneumonia. And indeed a couple of decades ago, that case of pneumonia was probably fully treated. If only we had properly taken care of these medicines and make sure they would still work. So anyways, you guys are working today on something really cool. Because of Allison, you're doing it in such a neat way. Games, I think, and augmented reality, such a powerful tool for thinking about how we can connect with citizens. And as much as you're doing this as part of a class, Allison and I and our colleague, colleague Caitlin Fisher, we actually are thinking of doing exactly this in a real way, working with a real museum uh, in order to launch this, something like this. So your ideas, I think, are gonna be so powerful in helping this out and ideally making a difference for an issue that affects all of us either at, well, at different points in our lives, but of course also through our friends and family, many of whom are affected by antimicrobial resistance without even knowing it at one point or another in their lives. So best of luck with your work. And I'm so um, thrilled, Alison, that I could be here today. Um, looking forward to seeing uh, what you guys produce today. Thank you, Stephen. It's been fantastic to have you join us. Um, this is like the, the culmination of everybody training on Zoom for two years that we could actually make this happen standing outside of, uh, of AMPD. So thank you very, very much for taking the time to join us. And uh, we look forward to showing you what we make. Looking forward. Take care. Good luck. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. It's really, really, as I said, um, exciting to be 
trying this out, this kind of cross-faculty um, research, uh, arts experimentation that we're doing today.